Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve exercise 13 we are going to perform mesh analysis for this circuit so mesh analysis is another name for KVL Kirchhoff voltage law that through any loop the voltage drop would be zero so we have three loops, we are going to have three currents so I'm going to draw here, I'm going to call this I1 this loop I'm going to call it I2 and then this one, I'm going to call it I3. We're going to start with loop one, and I'm going to start here. That's the starting point for me. So let's write loop one. If we go through the current, we're going to have negative. So I will have negative R2. I just write it in Laplace domain from the very beginning. Then I go through L minus L1 S I1S. Remember, for inductors, we have L di over dt. di over dt would give us in Laplace domain S I S. When we get to the our C1 here, we have two currents. You have I1 and an I2. So if I draw it here, I will have I1 going in this direction and I2 would be in that direction. So I have I1 minus I2 and the impedance for C is CS, C1S, I1S minus I2S. And if I expand this, you would see you have a negative here, and then I have a negative here. So for I2, it would be technically positive because I'm going the opposite direction of I2. But this would be a better convention to write I1 minus I2 here. I still have another resistor here. So I will write for resistors. I have current I1 and I3. So for these resistors, R1, if I just draw it here, so I1 would be in that direction, and I3 would be in this direction. So it would be negative 1, negative R1, I1S minus I2S equals 0. That's the first loop. If I go through second loop, I'll write it loop 2. Let's start from here. I have C2 is only affected by I2 in Laplace domain. I have C2S, I2S, and then I have L2. L2 would be I2 minus I3. Alright, I2S minus I3S. And then I have my capacitor C1. So I2 minus I1 this time. So I'll write it here minus 1 over C2S. That's the impedance. Uh, sorry, I have C1 here. I'm talking still about this guy here. Then I have I2S minus I1S equals zero. So I had two capacitor and then one uh, one inductor that I included here. That was loop two. Now I can move to loop three. I'm going to start here for loop, so to include the effect of V, or we can think of it as here, we go from negative to positive, I have the voltage, minus R, here we have this R, so I'll go here, then come here, and then go here, that's the path I go for this. 
I have R1, which is I3 minus I1. Then I have L2S. And for L, I have I3S minus I2S. So I have three loops. I wrote three equations. With three equations, I can solve for the three unknowns, which are I1, I2, and I3. So I1, I2, and I3 are the unknowns that can be determined. By the tree equation. So tree equations, tree unknowns. I can find the value of the, the current using KVL or mesh analysis. It really didn't matter that we used these directions for I1, I2, and I3, it could be any other directions. At the end, the sign would take care of itself. So it's not an assumption that you need to correct it or anything. That's what we get. And then for each element, we can find a corresponding current based on what loop is each element part of.